good morning everyone today we are going to study about p spice now what is a p spice p spice is a simulation software which offers a range of tools which can help simulate our electrical circuits now this is very handy in times these times when we are not able to go to labs due to the global pandemic so we have this simple solution which can simulate uh, all the like capacitors in series whatever we have done in school so this tool will help us in simulating that and it will also help us to verify that those results are true so it is very useful for us so let's see how we download it and how we run it so let's begin with the video so first open your web browser and type pspice so you will see here P Spice Student 9.1 download for PC free. Just click on the link, then it will write, redirect you to the download link page. Click on here the download button. Now you see the again the download button, just click on it. you see the download has begun it is just of 28 mb since i have already downloaded it we'll just cancel it when it gets downloaded just go to your downloads folder or the location where you downloaded it this the 91 psptu application just right click on it and click open run click unzip now 18 files and zipped successfully click on ok now just you see the address where it is unzipped it is unzipped in the temp folder so just close this press winky plus r or open the run window and type percentage temp percentage click on ok so you see all the 18 files are unzipped here scroll down and you will find a file named setup just double click on it or run as administrator click on s please hold on the wizard will open after this process gets to 100 percent In some computers, it might even not install because antivirus, your antivirus is on. So, make sure to turn off your antivirus or firewalls before installing this uh, Orchid setup, the piece spice. Let's wait for it. So as you see it opened and it gave a warning that turn off your antivirus programs so we have already turned that off just click ok it says run as administrator we already run it as administrator now we need the schematics because we design our circuits in schematics so tick both of these boxes then click next click next and we are we have this P Spice student. Next, everything is selected. Just keep clicking next and wait for these boxes to fill 100%. Click OK. It will take just 30 40 seconds. Yeah, just an ticket. It is not of any use. Click finish. Now your P Spice has been installed. So when you will open the start window, you will see here 
there will be a pspice student named folder which will have all of these elements so just click on schematics and this window will open this is the main window where we usually design our circuits so let's get through it how we do the basic things this is the part search window where you see we just generally type our name of the parts and we get it this one the icon with the binoculars you are seeing just click on it to get new parts here you can see the names of various parts you can scroll down and get them suppose you need a capacitor just type c you will get to c capacitor you already know what does one n mean one nanofarad just click on place and close and you will see a capacitor just click anywhere and release it and if you want to unselect this just right click if you want to select a register type r and press enter you will get a register with the value 1k just uh, right click it to unselect this you can get various parts like uh, if you want a dc voltage source just type vdc you see vdc and we also have a ac source right now we are doing a simple demonstration so we will be using a dc source just click place and close now what is this you can also rotate this dc source that doesn't make any difference uh, you see like this or like this so we can just place this yeah for simplicity we are just removing this uh, capacitor we will be doing the experiment with only register just take its value to be 5 ohms okay and about voltage let's take the voltage v upon v already know v equals to high r so let's take the value of v equal to 10 voltage now we always attach a reference reference point which is earth so go to new parts and type g you will see here ground analog in which you can give any desired value of the reference and it is also showing ground earth which will give zero potential just click place and close and place it you can also check by double clicking here it is zero volt you can double click it 10 volts and edit any values you can rename it from v3 to v1 or any name you want it's same just like this r4 to r1 now we need wires to connect all these components so just press ctrl w and click on the one terminal or the end of the battery and just like this go and attach it here then go to the other terminal of the resistor click there and draw your wire connect all the parts so that there are no loose ends remaining now we have completed our circuit so what we do what we want to do next we want to put some markers which will automatically tell you what is the voltage flowing what is the current so you see here markers mark voltage level it marks the potential so these markers can be placed on the terminals we should not put them on wires because it, it will give errors so you see the resistor terminal we put it here voltage and one on the batteries terminal so that we can know actually what is the potential going now this current into pin is used to plot the current that is flowing so we plot it here now our whole circuit is ready for simulation so what we are going to do we need to save our file first so this is i remaining i am naming it as a test file just click save now what i need to do I need to create a netlist. My netlist is not good because source should okay, okay. First thing is we need to go to setup. In the setup, we will see here since this is the DC voltage, so we need to perform a DC sweep. If we had a AC 
voltage source then we needed to do a ac sweep or a transient which we will which are some advanced things which you can learn later on we are doing for simple things we are using a dc voltage source so we will be doing a dc sweep now here we are doing for, for a voltage source so we have selected voltage source and we want uh, the graph type to be linear so it's selected linear here name of the battery what is the voltage source name v1 now we want to go from the starting value 0 to maximum value 10 and then with the increment of 0 0.5 value just click ok close now we will create a netlist then we will click on electrical rule check you see erc is completed without any end. now we can go to simulate just wait for three to four seconds you see the graph this one voltage to r1 we already know it's a linear graph so we can see it through here also this is the simulation and now we need to check it v1 what is the marker giving the value of the voltage 10 volt this is between this we already see the potential is potential potential of the V1 source is 10 volt. Now we knew V equals to IR. 10 volt equal to I into 5 ohms. So what will the value of current? It will be 2 ampere. So we can see 2 ampere is the current through the resistor and these are in series. So 2 ampere will flow through this potential source V also. And here we provided a 0 0 volt that is a reference point with the earth ground earth we connected so it is a 0 volt a potential so this is how we simulate circuits using piece by software now you can try out various examples like registers in series registers in parallel and have fun at your home so, thanks for watching the